Stan Jobalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV Whiskey 1 Good Vibrations, here to show you something called an H plane polar plot for antenna directional patterns. We call it an H plane because it represents a horizontal plane. So we're looking straight down on the antenna, which would be right at the center here of this polar plot. Then, zero degrees azimuth is north. Alpha represents the azimuth or compass direction. 90 degrees is east. 180 degrees is south. 270 degrees is west, and each one of these spokes represents 10 degrees of the compass. That gives us the direction part of a polar coordinate plane. Now as for the concentric circles that you see, these represent the relative antenna gain in any particular direction. Uh, we can plot a point anywhere on this polar plot and have a particular azimuth and a particular radius r and this radius r uh, is the represents the gain of the antenna and I have drawn a red circle here to represent zero decibels with respect to a dipole antenna. So, for example, if we ran a dipole with its straight wire half-wave dipole running north and south, then in the horizontal plane its lobes would look something like two circles. I'm doing my best to draw circles with my somewhat steady hand. Two circles like this and then in any particular direction say for example 70, 72 degrees of azimuth we would get a particular gain like that and at the exact optimum points of the compass for the dipole that is the centers of the lobes these little green circles here would just touch that red circle right there so that's what we would get for a dipole running north and south. Now suppose that instead we ran a vertical antenna, a quarter wave vertical over perfectly conducting ground. Then we would get an omnidirectional pattern that would form a circle exactly at the 0 dBD circle because a quarter wave length vertical antenna over perfectly conducting ground or a perfect counterpoise will produce the same gain as a dipole or 0 dBd. However, if we were to use a half wavelength antenna instead of a single quarter wavelength radiator, then we're going to get what they call two half waves in phase or a vertical double zep, which will produce approximately 3 dBd of gain in the horizontal plane. Now, if we let each concentric circle represent 5 decibels of gain or loss, then 3 dB, 3 dBd would give us a circle like this. Are you getting the general idea of how this works? Now, these have all been very simple radiation patterns. We can get into more complicated radiation uh, patterns for antennas. And the, you might ask, how do they determine this thing called a radiation pattern? How is this determined, you might ask? Good question. Well, in order to do that, what they do is they have an antenna test range, which is basically a big, wide open space 
with no obstructions anywhere nearby. You put the antenna right there at the center of this plot and then in various directions you actually use a field strength meter or an FS meter to measure the amount of vo the number of volts per meter or usually microvolts per meter of field strength that is produced in every direction and then from the voltages the relative voltages you can calculate the decibels according to the formula decibels equals 20 times the logarithm of V2 over V1 when you're comparing two voltages you calculate the decibels and you can then uh, systematically make a directional plot so for example you might have a Yagi antenna with 10 dBd of gain pointed northeast and you'd get a lobe that would look something like this and then a, a bunch of little minor lobes in other directions and all kinds of antennas can be plotted this way and if you don't have enough concentric circles to accommodate the gain that you have say you've got a, a 15 dBd gain then you'd need to just make the graph a little bigger that's all so that is a polar coordinate system that is used in order to make antenna directional pattern plots in the horizontal plane or H plane. Stan Gibalisco, W1GV Whiskey One Good Vibrations, saying 73 for now and so long.